one of the things that really upset me um, was the fact that before I had diabetes, I had this really long, luscious, thick hair, um, and it was kind of like my crowning glory. I just, you know, everyone used to comment on it. And then I noticed that six months leading up to my diagnosis, um, I'd be brushing my hair or even just running my hand through my hair and I'd be pulling out these great big clumps of hair. So I ended up having it uh, cut off into like this bob. Um, it was getting to the point where I lost six stone in as many months. I eventually landed up in hospital because I'd lost so much weight that um, the sugar in my blood had started to eat away at my muscle mass as well. And consequently, because I hadn't been diagnosed, I ended up with pancreatitis. Leading up to going into hospital was really, really difficult as I found out later I was going through ketoacidosis. Um, when I got to the hospital they, they measured my heart rate and it was at 268 beats per minute. Now the average heartbeat is supposed to be at 60, so you can understand why it felt like I was having a heart attack. I recently read a story on uh, diabulimia where, you know, young girls across the UK are basically not taking their insulin as a type 1 diabetic um, in order to make their blood sugars rise and eat away at their fat and their muscle and therefore they keep their weight down. I wanted to make this video because it, I can't, I can't explain enough how dangerous it is um, it's horrifying to think that these girls are risking putting themselves through ketoacidosis. So there's actually been a charity that's just launched recently and it's called Diabetics with Eating Disorders or DWED for short um, and it's somewhere where people can go and talk about their diabulimia and get advice or information from the website and also how they can use the tools on there to you know feel better about themselves and hopefully stop um, with their diabulimia. I won't lie being a diabetic and going through the whole diagnosis when you're a bit older um, it is challenging and it's taken a long time to get to where I am today but one of the really positive things is that it does get better and that's one of the things you've really got to focus on. Um, in fact I just finished doing a 5k fun run um, for the first time ever in my life <laughs> uh, and I did that with two of my work colleagues um, for children in need so I think one of the key things I would say is yes it can be really difficult when you are first diagnosed and you will go through really bad days um, but there is light at the end of it and if you focus on that then you'll be absolutely fine. <laughs>